Yo, yo, yo! Five out of five. Just gonna go ahead and say it right now. Five out of five. In Ryu just became my favorite One Piece villain, okay? Like, I've been holding off on saying that. He's my favorite One Piece villain so far. What other dude has, like, the sea prism? Has this devil fruit ability sucked out of him, okay? To where he can't summon him. That's sucked out, but, you know, negated. And then takes a full-on hit by the impact dial. Should have been KO'd, okay? Even taunts Wiper before he gets hit and says, you're going to kill yourself too. You know that, right? And then when everyone least expects it, this dude gets on some Yuha Bak level shit, okay? Like, what he does is he resuscitates his own heart by, you know, like with the doctors, they get like the little things to put on, and bam! Like, that's what he does. He runs the lightning through his own body and jump starts his own heart. Like, who else does this? This dude, yo, I'm loving this dude. This reminds me of the final chapter of Bleach where Yuha Bak said, I'm gonna go to that point in the future where you're the most happiest and that's why I'm gonna kill all of you and he almost did it but then Ichigo's kid sticks his hand inside of there uses or he made his ability gets rejects it that's my theory because it's up in the air rejects it BAM you have bot taken out okay and it's like Enryu does the same thing only he didn't get defeated by a little kid that'd be like Ace is just showing up and like Kami BAM take him out that's not what happened but good god the way that he was able to do that, impressive. And then just seeing the utter level of skill this guy has. Wow. Okay. Like, that's wow. Like, when he attacks Zoro, okay, body splits up into lightning. Zoro can't hit him. He reforms, grabs Zoro's blades. Very smart. He runs his electricity, his lightning through the blade because the blade is metal it absorbs lightning Zoro's hidden with a de heavy dose of it okay <clears throat> Zoro very freakishly he's almost as durable as Luffy not taken out and he's even able to stand up after the fact and then that's when he puts his foot down on Zoro's face shoves it closer to the ground and starts talking trash to him like look that's why people bow down to gods you understand this right i'm the kami you're the human bow down start praying lick the boots oh you can't lick the boots get creative with the tongue that's exactly what he did like good wow wow like the level of skill this guy displays another thing like when zoro rushes out after uh a nail which got points in my book Zoro's like, she's a woman. You attacked her. Why are you doing that? And I was like, I know. I saw. I don't really care. And uh, like his exact words were, I know, I saw. And he referred to her in past tense. Savage. What? And Zoro rushes out, tries to attack him. This dude takes the staff he's got. Smacks Zoro on the back with it, bodies up in the air, and we have some unintentional teamwork because Wiper takes the opportunity to use the burn burn bazooka. And I've already told you guys, the flame is already the hottest that it can be because it's the blue flame with specks of white. The hottest flame is when you can't actually see it. And that's when Nami points out, I heard thunder. This guy really is lightning because... He's able to create heat because thunder, lightning, when it strikes, there's heat in it. He's able to create it so hot that it cancels out the flame. Like the, the, the burn burn bazooka. Holy shit. So that's what I mean. The level of skill. I have not seen skill this, you know, ABC easy, easy peasy as when Aizen was just wrecking the... Uh, the, the visors and the captains and just running through their ass just like it's nothing, okay? Like, this was a boss level fight, man. This was good. This was really, really good. Like, Oda might have might have peaked at this point. And I know that sounds crazy, but we're almost 30 volumes in. And I know for One Piece to... I was in Barnes & Noble's the other day. And I think One Piece is at 80 volumes released right now. Like, so there's obviously more to come, okay? But I feel like he might have peaked right here. Like, we might have some really good villains some really great story coming ahead. I feel like Anel might be, as far as impact, the best villain that we're gonna have because we have not seen a guy this methodical, this entrenched in his beliefs with an arc this long, pull off some shit like this. 
this was good. Like I said, five out of fucking five. Let me know what you think down in the comment section below. But as always, guys, if you like anything I had to say, hit that like button, comment, rate, subscribe, share. Don't be a bug zapper like Nico Robin. But as always, thanks for watching. Have an awesome day, guys. Wow.